Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn how to make one of my favorite sauces. It's a super bright and vibrant green cilantro sauce. My favorite part about this recipe is that you can use it in so many different ways in the kitchen and all are delicious. Some examples are using the sauce as a dressing, a marinade for meat, or even putting it on top of some rice or pizza. The possibilities are truly endless, so let's make it. Here are all the ingredients that you're going to need and the best part is there's not that much prep. Start out with two whole jalapeno peppers and we're going to remove the seeds as well as the stems. These are the only parts that are really spicy in the jalapeno so the sauce is going to be very mild. If you would like it spicy, you can add some of the seeds or stems at the end. Another option is just to add some cayenne pepper to taste so that you can control the spiciness a lot better. Moving on to cilantro, if you did not know, the stems actually have just as much flavor as the leaves so we're going to take one whole bunch and just remove part of the stem but keep some as well. Then we're going to add some paprika, some cumin, salt, and of course, black pepper. We're also going to add some fresh garlic and I added about seven cloves but if you would like a more mild garlic taste just add about four to five. Then to make this creamy and light we're going to add some mayo and yogurt. If you would like a lighter taste you can definitely skip the mayo and just add more yogurt but I highly recommend using both of them. Then we're going to add some cotija which is a type of cheese that can easily be swapped for parmesan or you could choose to leave all the cheese out of this recipe. All that's left to do is add juice of one whole lime and blend it in your food processor until it looks beautiful and and smooth just like this. To store it, transfer it to an airtight container and keep it in the fridge for five to seven days. And that's basically it. So if you enjoyed this recipe, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss when I upload a new recipe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.